I've been in London now for just about 10 years, working in different creative and technology related roles. Sound design, video game and developer type things. It's a really exciting time here in East London as there's so much happening. A lot of new tech startups are moving into the area and there's a real buzz in the air. But then this job comes up at Inmarsat and it looks like everything I was looking for. The opportunity to work on projects with global impact that can help people's lives was too good to pass up. We were asked to create a set of tools to help communicate more effectively exactly what it is Imarsat does. I've always been interested in space. I even watched a satellite launch from Cape Canaveral when I was younger. In the nine months that I've been at Imarsat, we've created all kinds of tools and applications, working across all sectors of the business, land, sea, and air. We make scenario tools to help government clients understand the capabilities of Inmarsat's product offerings. And we work under the principle that it's always best to show people rather than to tell them. The best part of the job is making virtual and augmented reality representations of our network and space assets. What would you see from one of Inmarsat's satellites out in space? Or how does a satellite look and operate in orbit? These are some of the questions we are trying to answer. In the first instance, we are creating something that the user will enjoy and hopefully learn from. But one of the best parts of my job is getting to work with so many really smart and capable people. The tools we make are representative, but they also have to be accurate. Building simulations is fascinating, but it can be time consuming, especially when you're modeling something as complex and big as a global satellite network. People say the games can sometimes make people more insular. I disagree. Our experience here is that these tools are a great catalyst for conversation and learning. People react very positively to these experiences, especially if we give them some degree of freedom to explore. Communications and technology is something that we take for granted these days, and the work that Inmarsat does is really important. My job is all about understanding the how and the why, and finding a creative and engaging way of telling that story. My name is José Pereira, and I'm an interactive developer at Inmarsat.